Here we have two numbers, and we want to express these numbers in a more standard or scientific notation. So let's see, we have this first number, 5, 2, 1, 0, and then we've got several, uh, several sets of zeros after that. So what do we have here? So we've got hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions, so 5.2 trillion, basically. So we want to write that in a, in a much more concise way. How we write that is just one digit, and then a decimal, and then the remaining significant digits, so 5.21. So five, but this isn't 5 trillion anymore, it's, but it's 5.21. But what we want to do is write that in a concise way by powers of 10. So with scientific notation, we say times 10 to the power of something. The power is just the number of digits that we've moved back. So we have one, two, three, four sets of three, so that's a power of 12. So 5.21 trillion can be written like this. It's a much more concise way. This is scientific notation. Now we also have zero point, let's see, zero, 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 several times. One, two, three, four, five, and then 23. Okay. Again, scientific notation goes the other way as well. So we want to write this as one digit, a decimal, and then all the significant digits after that, times 10 to the, and then whatever power we have here. Now we've gone to the right, so we want to have a negative power. So how many powers is that? Three times one, two, three, four, five. So 15, one more, 16. 2.3 times 10 to the negative 16. These are now scientific notation.